This is where um, it's believed that back in uh, the 18th century, I have to do more research and I don't want to disclose the location, um, but these rocks were placed here. They used uh, mule teams and wagons and um, this, uh, I guess I, I guess I misspoke about the 18th century. I don't know, maybe 1870s, 1880. Turn of the century, they might have had some kind of a crane. Uh, they would have had to have. Um, so I'm, I, re I, my dates might be off, but I do know one thing about this um, rock pile, right? Uh, no, this, this, you can tell. I'll get closer, but you can tell. This one looks like it's about to fall off at any minute, so that would be like labor saving. Um, but yeah, it's so obvious that these rocks were placed here, and they're placed here to, uh, in case um, legend has it, uh, see, it was uh, 100 pounds of gold and 500 pounds of silver, um, and uh, that way. You know, it's it won't it won't be easy that way. It wouldn't be easy to get get it out like a vault, stone vault. So, but I I and I I would appreciate it if people would donate to the channel. Uh, if you want to do it that way, or just leave a comment and we can contact each other. If you want to, it I don't know. If, I think that these this day and time it shouldn't be too expensive to come back come on back out here uh, with the, the big crane and the giant rake and the bulldozers and just uh, take it apart and let's just see how much let me try to get this get around to the other side and just start grabbing them off the top and um, get, get to the gold and the silver and maybe by the time we get through with our operation, uh, the uh, price could have gone up. I think gold's, gold's a little bit low now. Uh, anyway, here comes somebody, so we're going to have to close it down. Uh, but just an idea. Thanks for watching.